Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Orioles today is Randy O'Neill, whose record is 9-9 with a 466 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Dan Petrie, whose record is 9-7 with a 422 ERA. Okay, we are on the verge of having, I believe, our first ever 10-game winning streak, uh, if we can win today's game, of course. And we've got Dan Petrie on the mound facing Randy O'Neill, who's been a Tiger killer uh, this year. Uh, Petrie's coming off a six-inning shutout performance. Um, so I feel like he's pitching better, and perhaps uh, we can keep the uh, winning streak alive today uh, in Game 2 versus the Orioles. Uh, of course, we still have our contest going on where we are giving away a, a Burt Blylevin autographed baseball card. Uh, it is a 2023 Topps Tribute um, uh, Burt Blylevin autographed baseball card. We now have nine contestants. As you can see here, we've got Thomas D., Don T., Freddie C., John M., Charismatic Dad, Kent S, Julio L, Dave K, and a uh, new subscriber, Big Mike, who uh, joined up yesterday. So as of right now, we have nine contestants for the Burt Bly 11 autograph card. If we can get one more uh, before game 123, uh, then I'll add a second prize, uh, which is the, going to be the uh, Tory Hunter autograph baseball card. So we need one more uh, subscriber to join the contest. Uh, you could do that by, of course, being a subscriber and letting me know in the comments below that you want to get in on this giveaway. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. If you don't know what the cards look like at the end of this video, I will have the uh, I Got This video in which I show you what those uh, cards are so um, stay tuned for that okay we've got Dan Petrie on the mound as we're waiting for the game to load up there we go so there's Peaches 9 and 7 with that 422 ERA uh, all the bullpen is available today our lineup versus Randy O'Neill who is a right-hander uh, the one player we're gonna give the day off to is Willie Wilson He's in a big slump, and he was listed as tired. So uh, Willie Wilson will be on the bench today. And we've adjusted the lineup uh, accordingly, adding Kevin Bass in there at center field. Okay, let's go ahead and do the lineup rundown for the Baltimore Orioles. Batting leadoff, playing left field, is Kevin Romberg. Batting second at second base is Tommy Herr. Batting third and catching is Ray Smith. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Jim Traber. Batting fifth in right field is Bob Pate. Batting sixth in DHing is Dave Stegman. Batting seventh at third base is Wayne Krinchicki. Batting eighth in center field is Rick Manning. And batting ninth is the shortstop, Bob Bonner. Let's take a look here at Dan Petrie a little closer. You can see he's making his 24th start, 9 and 7, with a 422 ERA. Uh, 83 strikeouts and 143 innings pitch. Opponents are betting 253 against him. He does have a complete game. His fastball is topping out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 45.8%. A four-pitch pitcher. His fastball is his out pitch, rated a 91. His slider, that's an 83. Overall rated an 89. The 25-year-old right-hander is not a free agent until the 86th season. And there you have it, his last start versus Cleveland. He went six innings, giving up three hits and two walks, zero runs, uh, getting the win and stopping a three-game losing streak. Overall, he has not pitched well uh, down the stretch, what is he, two and five in his last seven starts. Uh, but with a win today, he could get to his 10th win of the year. Okay, let's take a look at the Tigers' defense. Solid everywhere you look. We got Bass out there in center field, which is a tick below what Willie Wilson offers in center. Uh, everywhere else, we are solid. 
Okay, Kevin Romberg. Left fielder leading off against Dan Petrie. Romberg betting 285 with a home run this year. And he hits a ground ball to short. Scramble make him a play. One down. That's going to bring up Tommy Herr. Herr hits a grounder to second where Whitaker makes the play. Now, I said earlier in the um, pregame that we're on the verge of a 10-game winning streak. I'm fairly certain in my illustrious career of playing this uh, sim that I've had double-digit win, uh, win runs before, but I don't know if I've had one since we've been doing the sim on YouTube. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting to double digits today just to say that we have. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the Tigers' lineup rundown for today's ball game. Batting leadoff playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third at third base is George Brett. Batting cleanup and DHing is Kenny Smith. Batting fifth playing first base is Rusty Tillman. Batting sixth in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting 7th in center field is Kevin Bass. Batting 8th and catching is Terry Kennedy. And batting ninth is the right fielder, Glenn Wilson. Okay, Rust, uh, Randy O'Neill, who is uh, making his 22nd start, 9-9, nine nine, with a 466 ERA. Uh, opponents are batting 295 against him. He's got a complete game this year. Fastball tops out at 93 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 47 0.4%. A three pitch pitcher. The fastball is elite. It's rated a 94. The splitter at an 85. Overall at 86 rating. The 23 year old right hander is arbitration eligible at the end of the 86 season. You can see he had, wow, he had three out of four starts in a row. Four, five. This is his sixth start against Detroit. He won the last two. There's a loss in there. There's another victory and a loss. So he's 3-2 versus Detroit. And I would have to guess individually, he probably has the most individual wins against the Tigers this season. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the Orioles. Just Bob Pate out there in right field. Uh, below league average everywhere else. Pretty solid. Okay, uh, Sweet Lou leading off versus Randy O'Neill. Lou batting 277 with seven home runs. Pulls it into right field. On a line, Bob Pate making the grab. One out. Next man up is the shortstop, Alan Trammell. Trammell flying out to the left. Now, we've had a lot of games lately where we have just not been able to put up hits or runs early. But if we can hang in there long enough, this middle th third of the uh, ball game uh, is where we tend to break through. So I'm not too worried as George Brett comes up and hits a slow roller to third. Where Kuchiki makes the play. I'm not, not too worried about us uh, not being able to put runs on the board today. So a 1 2 3 inning for O'Neill to go to the top of the second. Jim Traber leading off. Traber, second in the American League in home runs with 26. He hits a ground ball to Brett for out number one. Neither one of these starting pitchers get a lot of strikeouts. Um, Randy O'Neill only had 66 this year. And Dan Petrie's at 83. Two quick outs for Petrie. And Dave Stegman, the Stegosaurus, pops it up. And that'll do it. Moving on, bottom of the second. Kenny Smith leading off, followed by Rusty Tillman and Kirk Gibson. Full count to Smith. And he pops it up to short. Not a lot of action going on. That was a good at-bat, though. A nine-pitch at-bat. And yet, R Randy O'Neill's total is only at 16 pitches. One down for Rusty Tillman. Tillman still... Has the hit streak going. He's had a hit in every ball game. He started. There, Tillman f flies out to center. And yesterday's hero, Kirk Gibson, 
He had two home runs, including a walk-off in the bottom of the ninth inning. Oh, no, did he get all of it? Get out of here. Jimmy has found his power stroke, his 18th home run of the year, third home run in two games. He still does not even have 50 RBI. That is insane. Tigers jump on top, one to nothing. It's kind of been a one-man show, as Gibson has, what, driven in four of the last five runs. Two down as Kevin Bass grounds out to first, and that will do it. So, Tigers jump ahead on the Gibson home run to go to the top of the third. one nothing Detroit. Wayne Krinchicki leading off, and Krinchicki, wow, hell just froze over. That is Wayne Krinchicki's first home run of the year. His first home run in 124 at-bats. And just like that, we're all tied at one. That is shameful to give up a home, the first home run of the year to somebody. Rick Manning with a base hit in the center. Suddenly, Petrie is hittable. Manning on first. Still nobody out for Bobby Bonner. Bonner batting 266. He doesn't have a home run. Flies out to center. Manning heads back to first. We're back to the top of the lineup with Kevin Romberg. Romberg, first pitch swinging. Round ball to third. Brett tries to go around the horn to get the force at second. That's two down. Romberg's got great speed at first. With two outs, I would I would definitely send him here. Tommy Herr. 0 for 1 on the day. Hits a ground ball to short. And that'll do it. We go to the bottom of the third. Krinchicki's bomb. Ties it up at 1. Here's Terry Kennedy. We're still rolling him out there. Uh, he hasn't offered much as far as hits go. There we go. There's a gapper in the left center field. That's the Terry Kennedy who made the all-star team this year. His 24th double of the season. That ties him with George Brett in doubles. Look at the 90-game um, the uh, totals here. Certainly a leap up over last year, but he's got so many more hits and so few walks comparatively. And I think that's going to tell you all you need to know about the batting average there. So we have a leadoff guy on second. And Glenn Wilson at the plate. I expect nothing from Glenn Wilson anymore. We'll take a walk, though. Tigers finally starting to work over a little bit on uh, Randy O'Neill. It's first and second. Nobody out. And we're back to Lou. An 0-1 count to Whitaker. Ground ball in the hole. That is a double play if I ever saw one. Oh! How do they not get Wilson at second? The only play was to go to first. So Whitaker's out. It's second and third. One down. We're going to go on contact here. Kennedy and Wilson, neither one have good speed. So if Trammell can get the ball on the ground, uh, we will take the lead here. It's an 0-1 count. And there we go. Trammell goes to the right side, runs scores. Tigers take the lead, 2-1. to one. Give Trammell the RBI. And let's see if we can push one more across the plate with George Brett. Ground ball up the middle. And the Tubby Herr will make the play. So we get the run back. It's 2-1, to one, headed to the top of the fourth. And it's the heart of the order. Smith, Traber, and Pate do up. Ray Smith, he's been quiet this series as he flies out to right center field. It's weird that they have a 256 hitting catcher in the number three spot. He will take a walk. I guess that's the one advantage of putting Smith on before Traber. One out. Here's Jim Traber, and Petrie walks him. Maybe not the worst idea. Four consecutive fastballs. 
all over the place. One down. We're going to play straight away in case we can get a double play out of this. Bob Pate, whoa, scorches it to center field. That's a frozen rope. Fortunately, uh, it's right at Kevin Bass for out number two. And then Jim Traber tries to steal second. Now, I think he's got like an over it. Yeah, he's 82. So he's capable of stealing, but that's just a dumb move. We'll take it, though. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Kevin Smith leading off Smith, Tillman, and Gibby. There's the first strikeout of the ball game for either team. Ken Smith, those down swinging. One out. Here's Rusty Tillman. Oh, the old strikeout walk combo. A tale as old as time. Now we got Tillman on first. He's got really good speed. He is one for one in stolen base attempts. I don't think we could take the bat out of Gibson's hands though right now, right? He's got home runs in three of his last four at bats. Oh crap. Okay, well ground ball to second. That could have been worse as Tillman advances to second. That's gonna leave it up to Kevin, big hit Bass to drive him in here. And Bass pops it up. You couldn't ask for too much more from Bass as a fourth outfielder, batting 284 with a little bit of power and can play anywhere in the outfield. So it gives everybody a day off. And he's getting plenty of at-bats of his own. So we're, we go to the top of the fifth. Um, Petrie's only at 37 pitches. Dave Stegman was at the plate when Traver was thrown out stealing. He's going to lead it off, and Petrie walks it. So Petrie doesn't even have a strikeout yet. As he's walked Stegman. And the powerful Wayne Krinchicki at the plate. In his first home run of the year in his first at-bat. He tries to go oppo taco, flying out to left. 326 feet. You put those, uh, put the home run ball in that line out to left. He's gone some distance today. We're going to keep uh, the infield at regular depth with Manning up. It's going to be tough to double up anybody. That's ground ball in the hole. It's short. Trammel. Good range. Goes to short route. The second getting the force. So two down, Manning on first for Bob Bonner. Bonner 0 for 1 today. And Manning gets thrown out, trying to steal second. I admire the fact that they're continuing to make an effort when they're 11 and a half games out. But Kennedy, who's going to lead off here, has been exceptional all year. 36% for his caught sleep. Look at this. His defensive range is at 13.2, and his wins above replacement defensively is 1.3. What a great surprise uh, Terry Kennedy has been and, you know, allowed us to get rid of dead weight. Lance Parrish moved on to Cleveland. So Kennedy, who doubled the first time up, scored a run, pops out to short. There's one out. Next up is Glenn Wilson. Wilson finally gets a, a breakthrough, a double into center field. His 17th double of the year. Look at his numbers and how far he's sunk from his big year last year. So one down, Wilson is on second. We're back to Sweet Lou, who's 0 for 2 today. Full count. And a ground ball to short. Wilson, better hold. Yeah, he does. Whatever reason, Randy O'Neill always pitches well against us. And Trammell strikes out. Okay, we're going to the top of the sixth inning. And at this point, much like with Jack Morris yesterday, Petrie is going to be on a short leash. Um... 
He doesn't have a strikeout yet. He's given up only two hits, but also two walks. So um, anything could happen, and I'd really want to win this ball game. Bob Bonner has a base hit. So that's it for Petrie. Probably shouldn't even have bothered, to be honest. Petrie comes out. He's responsible for the runner on first. Gumpy Gumpert's coming in. I mean, if you just look at the bullpen ERAs, uh, we have been lights out. Gumpy Gumpert's been a big part of that. A 156 ERA with 40 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 183. Look at his schmitz. Righties decimated. 169 average. Even lefties are having trouble hitting him. Okay. Oh, what's his uh, ground ball percentage? 43. Not great. We really could use a double play here. Bonner has good speed. So does Kevin Romberg. An 0 1 count to Romberg. And a line drive caught by Brett. Wow, that would have been a game-time hit into the corner. Brett may have just saved the ball game right there. One down. I'm going to pull Brett in at third. I don't think Her would lay down a bunt. But we're going to be ready for anything. There's a 2-2 count. And Her strikes out the first Tiger strikeout of the ball game by any of the pitchers. Gumpert on the verge of getting out of this. If it does get to Traber, we'll bring in the Creeper. Ray Smith and Bonner is successful stealing second base. That is only the fifth stolen base for Bonner this year. That's a good move. Oh, man. All right. Now, Smith is only betting 205 versus righties. He's got an 0-1 count. Here we go. 1-1. One, one. A line drive to center. Is that going to get down? 2-2. Yep. Two to two. So, Petrie cannot get the win. That run does count against Petrie. Is that technically a blown save? I think it is a technical blown save. Here comes the Creeper to face Jim Traber. Ground ball to first. The game is tied. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning, and George Brett will lead off. Brett's 0 for 2 today. Tigers have only three hits versus O'Neill as Brett grounds out to second. If you look at, you know, Randy O'Neill's ratings and his um, pitch skill set, I mean, you can see why he would, he would be successful. I just don't know why we can't hit him. Okay, we're moving on to the seventh inning. We're going to bring in Dave Rosma here. Rosie's been acceptable as he walks the leadoff guy. Hmm, this feels bad. Dave Stegman, with an 0-2 count, pops it up into foul territory. One down, runner on first. We got to go to Keith Comstock. Tommy, he's just been so good. Um, unusually good, like weird. <laughs> he is in a contract year. Here's Krinchicki. Krinchicki popping it up to first. Two down. Now Kami's got to go after Rick Manning, who's batting 308 versus lefties. 300 overall. And a line drive to Whitaker for out number three. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Game is still tied at two. Here is Kirk Gibson. 
You know he's going to swing for the fences. Oh, he just missed that one. Outside the strike zone, up and out. So O'Neill gets him to chase. There's one out. Kevin Bass rips it to right for out number two. Tigers could get can't get anything going here. Kennedy he floats it down the left field line and he's got himself another double. Terry Kennedy is 25th double of the year. Okay, Glenn Wilson with two outs. He's got a double himself and a walk today. At least he's been productive so far. And a ground ball to show. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. It's all the schlubs coming through today. Now we've got a righty, righty, and a switch hitter. So in comes Dave Smith. We've been giving Dave Smith a little bit extended uh, off time in between appearances because we have tallied up quite a bit of um, games and innings pitched. He's blown his fair share of saves this year uh, despite having a pretty good ERA. So we want him to be there for us in September. And the number nine hitter gets a second hit. So, I mean, this could be the ball game right here. Oh, Robert lays down a bunt. I did not see that coming. So, yeah, this game is over now. And Ray Smith, who drove in the tying run, has a chance to give him the lead. And he did. Yeah, yeah he caught it. All right, well, the game goes on. Randy O'Neill at 91 pitches. And Lou Whitaker leading off. Oh, Lou. Oh, sweet Lou. Home run to right field. We stymied them in the top of the eighth, and then Whitaker hits his eighth home run of the year. And it's 3-2 Detroit. Maybe we got to him. Yeah, there's a walk of Trammell. Finally, an opportunity to hit and run. We have not done this all day. Trammell on first. Here's George Brett. Oh, he pounds it into the dirt. And an error on the catcher, Smith. Everybody's safe. 102 pitches for Randy O'Neill. Everything's going our way. Let's see if uh, Kenny Smith's got a big hit in him. He's 0 for 3 today. Oh, O'Neal walks him. That's four walks for O'Neal. The bases are juiced for Rusty Tillman. Tillman does have a home run in his career. Uh, no grand slams, all right. Let's see what he's got. Oh, it's a ground ball. The short. Trem oh, another hitter. Oh, man. The moguling is on. I... You know what? I want to win this ball game. There would be part of me that would be chastising this stupid game. But you know what? These are going to be all unearned runs, and we're going to win this ball game. Let's see if Gibby... Does Gibby have a grand slam in his career? Look at his vitals. He does have one career grand slam. All right. Gibby, he's the hottest hitter on the team. First pitch swinging. And a ground ball to short. Bonner just made an error. Goes home and gets the force. So Gibby's on first. Tillman on second. Smith on third. There's only one hit this inning. Everything else is errors and walks. That's the way the game is designed. One down. And a ground ball base hit for Bass. That should score two. It does. And we will finally chase O'Neill from the ball game. Yesterday's loser, Bruce Suter, coming into the ball game. This is the guy that Gibby hit the home run against. We're going to hit and run with Terry Kennedy. Good job by Bass, by the way. 
we don't want to undersell what he just did. Hit and run. Ground ball to second. Gibby will score. Bass advances. It is 7-2. Detroit. Got five on the board. And a chance to add to it with Glenn Wilson. And Wilson hits a ground ball to second. And that will do it. Great job by the Tigers offense. A little bit of help from terrible defense and some wild pitching. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Um, no, we're going to take out Dave Smith. Now, we no longer have a save opportunity here. I'm going to bring in Dave Rucker to close this out. Remember, he's got reverse splits. <clears throat> so he gets righties better, out better than lefties. He also has only pitched 33 innings this year. So we'll give him an inning here to wrap it up. Starting with Jim Traber. Lefty on lefty violence. The ground ball to second. Whitaker making the play. Traber 0 for 3 today then with that walk. Here's Bob Pate. And Pate gets a base hit in the center field. Only the sixth hit for the Orioles today. Stegosaurus, he's looking for his first hit of the ball game. A 1-2 count. Tapper back to Rucker. Can we get a double play in the ball game? No. Rucker able to turn and fire to second. Two down. And it has come to Wayne Krenchicki, who had a big home run today. He's a 313 hitter versus lefties. And Rucker walks him. I think we have three times the walks as we do strikeouts today by pitchers. Not often you're going to win a ball game like that. Rick Manning walks. So we're on the verge of getting some junk runs. We've had to use our entire bullpen today. Here's the Terminator. Facing Bob Bonner. Ball game. Tigers win 7-2. Big five-run inning in the eighth inning. Gives the Tigers the victory. Handshakes, butt snaps, sloppy stakes. Hey, we've won 10 in a row. That is bonkers. That is crazy. Let's take a look at the standings. We have won 10 in a row. New York and Boston are now five games back. Baltimore is done. Seattle and Oakland are now tied for the lead in the West. Uh, California's one game back, and it looks like Chicago might be on the way out. National League, the Phillies have won six in a row. The Mets are now two games back. The Dodgers are way up on San Diego. Let's take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Detroit adds to the lead over the Red Sox. Good job by them. Lots of things here to be said. And that's all there is. Transactions. All oh, tons of retirements. Oh, man. Jaime Kokenauer. Brewers just cannot stay healthy. Is this the third time this year? It is five days, three weeks, three months. So he's done for the year. Kokenauer had a bad season. I think, was it? Yeah, I think 84 was Kokenauer's rookie year in real life. Um, so he finishes the year at six and nine. He'll be back in time for spring training. And then we had two more retired retirements. We've got uh, Randy Stein, uh, who hasn't played since 1982. He was all right. He's done. And Pepe Frias. Don't call him Pepe. It's Pepe. He did get one game in our sim for the Rangers. He went two for four in that game, and he never played again. Okay, so I'm always happy to clean out some of the dreck, some of the schlubs. Let's go ahead and pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Just a reminder that I am, uh, we do have the 1981 Detroit Lions alternate history season coming up. 
I am working on that right now. Um, week one will coincide with week one of the NFL season. Uh, the Lions will play the Minnesota Vikings. There will be a, a prize. I don't know if I'm going to be able to top the prize from last year uh, in which we gave away a autograph Billy Sims jersey, but we'll, we'll find something good. All right. Um, player of the game. We're going to give it to Terry Kennedy. Uh, we could give it to Gibson, but I'm going to give it to Terry Kennedy. He had two doubles. Uh, he did drive in a pretty big run. Um, we had a couple home runs. It isn't often that I overlook the RBIs, uh, but I think we're going to give it to TK. Dave Smith gets the win in relief. He was just the vulture, as normal. Um, that is his sixth win of the year. Tom Hankey, oh, because he came in with the bases loaded, did get a save. His 29th of the year. Uh, we walked five and struck out two. Not great. Randy O'Neill suffers the loss. All those unearned runs. Bruce Suter, two-thirds of, uh, of an inning to wrap it up. Okay, that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with the final game of the three-game series. Try to keep the win streak alive. There's your uh, nine contestants. We get one more. I'll add a, the uh, Tory Hunter card to a second-place winner. So uh, like and or subscribe, and we'll be back tomorrow. Until then, everyone, have a great day.